Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode, guys. We just finished uh, the first round of the playoffs. I will show you the playoff tree once again. But we lost against uh, the Florida Panthers in, uh, I believe it was five games. Yeah, five games. Uh, I think two games went into overtime, so it was a little bit of a tight series. But we just didn't have the game breakers uh, like Florida had, so... Uh, just to show you around the NHL, Columbus beat New Jersey, New York beat Caps, Buffalo beat Buffalo, I mean Buffalo beat Boston, sorry, in five games, and then the semifinals in the East are going to be Columbus against New York, and Florida against Buffalo, and then in the West, Nashville won, I mean Nashville lost against Minnesota, Colorado beat St. Louis, Arizona beat uh, LA, and then the Ducks beat Chicago. So you guys can see there the NHL playoffs. Uh, I'm pretty sure I showed you guys basically everything that I needed to show you. I'm going to be a little bit quick here because my EA access is running out in less than 30 minutes, I believe. So uh, I think I might just play a little bit with my scouts here and just make sure that most players that are on the draft in the first round get scouted let me just see here on tech has been scouted the sniper uh, his rank is good his player style is good that's been scouted Jack Hughes though and um, Vernarski so USA Central and USA West and then the SHL I'm gonna need to scout more people and then the WHL as well so uh, let me just get some scouts and send them on send them on uh, some duties here so they can go and scout the future NHL players. Uh, so we said it was USA West here. So we're going to change Couturier. Amateur USA. USA West. Confirm. Yes. Okay. So we will do this guy, and then we will do find prospects for him. Any positions um, for entire season until maybe the draft. So any, or should I'm gonna do first round? Yeah, I'm gonna do any actually, or early first round. I'm just gonna do any, and then I'm gonna put it for three months because I think that's how long we have until the draft. So three months or two months two months just to be sure I don't know how exactly how many months it is until the draft but we'll do two months just to be sure uh, and then it was USA Central I believe or oh, USA Central is already here Jack Hughes is being um, scouted we will do for another two months looks like he was already getting scouted but maybe not too in depth so we'll do early first round anything playing styles just so we have a better understanding of what's going on here so SHL we have one here uh, and then Liga the WHL did we do the WHL already okay no we haven't so I might just fire this guy Dano because I don't know anybody that's coming out of the NLA so I'm gonna just fire him and then I'm gonna hire a WHL scout so let me just get this ready guys and I'll bring you guys back once that's done because that takes a long time so just give me a second all right so we just finished um, setting up all the scouts so let's just get into simulating at least a month and a half pretty close to the draft here and see if the scouts actually um, did their homework and did what they needed to do. So, Carey Price is back. Uh, assistant coach, best rosters, it doesn't matter. I just want to see who's won the, uh, the Stanley Cup. I'll show you guys that. But let's see, Central Scouting has released their draft rankings. Uh, potential. We have potentials for a lot of guys, except, well, not a lot of guys, but um, we are missing Hughes, Vernarski, Juntinen, Byram, Krebs. Maybe I will put 
to scout some of these guys' potential, especially like all these guys in the WHL. I put them, I sent my scout to the WHL to find out all their strengths and weaknesses for all the WHL guys that are going in the first round, but maybe I should have also looked at potentials. I just did, um, I didn't really focus on potentials too much because for the fog of war, I decided for it to show the potentials. But anyways, the Columbus Blue Jackets have won the Stanley Cup. That's very surprising, guys. I want to see really quickly. I'm going to stop the simulation. I want to see the playoff tree and see how the NHL went down this year. Let's see. Playoff tree. The playoffs are finally done. So Columbus actually swept the New York Rangers in the second round. Florida beat uh, Buffalo in six games. And then Columbus beat Florida in five games to make it to the finals. And then Colorado beat Minnesota in six. And then Anaheim beat the Coyotes in five. So the Coyotes actually had a really good run. Uh, I don't think they were expected to make it this far, even make it into the playoffs. But they made it to the second round, so that's pretty good. And then Anaheim beat Colorado in seven, and um, Columbus actually beat Anaheim in seven as well in the Stanley Cup final. So pretty good, pretty good, um, pretty good playoffs there, if you ask me. I'm going to show you guys the awards really quickly. So Columbus wins, and then we'll look at the player awards. Ovi won the Art Ross. Uh, what else? Is that it? Okay, Hard Memorial, Ovi won it as well. James Norris, Seth Jones. So Seth Jones has act, has actually basically become a Norris defensive, or defenseman, basically. Uh, Lady Bink Kuznetsov, Calder, Casey Middlestad, Bobrovsky, the Bob, has won the Conn Smythe. So pretty good. Vesna, Dubnik, Braden Holby, the uh, William Jennings, Brendan Dillon, the Bill Masterton, Patrice Bergeron once again has won the Selkie. Ted Lindsay, Ovi, and then Maurice Richard, Ovi. So Ovi actually had an insane season again after winning the Stanley Cup. Good for him, good for him, but he wasn't able to repeat as a Stanley Cup champ. Uh, I'm going to see quickly if the draft, if my my scouts have looked into, into anything here, into the guys. Okay, so Jack Hughes has actually, his potential has been figured out. It's high elite. We've scouted him enough. So that's very good. I'm going to scout this Vernarski guy, see if we have time. And then some of these guys have also been scouted. Uh, we didn't have Krebs before or Doc, Kirby, Kirby Doc, but we haven't. We don't have Cousins yet or Byram. So I, might, I think they're getting scouted still. Yeah, they're getting scouted by Stokes. So maybe I will I'll do a little bit of changes here. Um... I'm just going to see. Where is that guy, actually? I want to see where he's from. I think he's in the USA USA Central, USA West. So I'm going to send my USA scout to scout him, uh, just him individually, even though we're like 20 days away from the draft. Hopefully, you can get a better idea of what this guy is all about. So just give me a couple seconds, and I'll see you guys at the draft once I'm done simulating here. All right, guys, so the draft lottery results have come in. Vegas has actually won the lottery, which is crazy. They're probably going to pick Jack Hughes now. Uh, after being Stanley Cup finalists, they've actually won the lottery the next year. Vancouver second, Edmonton third. Edmonton's always in the top three, it seems like. Colorado via Ottawa, fourth. Carolina fifth, Buffalo, Winnipeg, Detroit, Dallas, Calgary, New York Islanders, Pittsburgh, Toronto, Tampa, and Philadelphia. Taking a look here at the retired players, no one really from the NHL it seems like. So Dennis Seidenberg, um, that's about it. Let me see the goalies. Looks like most players are just either free agents or um, players playing in Europe. So yeah, same with the goalies. Okay, also some players I didn't know this feature existed, but retired players now that are now a scout. Uh, Johan Franzen, Dominic Moore, and Dennis Seidenberg. So I'm, I think I'm gonna wait for an old Habs player, to um, to basically become a a scout, so then I can maybe hire him potentially. Okay, so let me see here what's going on. 
Jonathan Joran's value seems to have dropped a little bit. And seems like at least. Um, Weber has a pretty good value. And then I want to see who I can put on a trade block. For sure it's going to be Andrew Shaw here. Who else? Andrew Shaw. And then I'm also going to put Weber. Um, 1738 Nation actually commented uh, to put Weber on the trade block a couple episodes ago. I didn't want to put Weber yet in uh, the trade block because we we're kind of competing for a playoff spot, so I didn't want to trade him right away, but I think we will now. Hopefully we can get a young defenseman to replace him in the future. We'll see. So Weber has been on, and then Tatar I'm going to put on the trade block as well. Uh, and then once they're basically going to be the same, I believe. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to drop it to 28 and then potential minimum for, so that's good. I'm going to put all of them to 28 and the potential range to at least four and then same for goalies. And then player role, I'm just going to put any goalie. Let me see if any of these guys. I don't know if I put any roles for these guys. Player role, any any defenseman, because I want elite defenseman, anything like that. Franchise defenseman, anything that will come. So forwards, any forward as well. All right, so we've updated our trading block now. Let's sim get into the draft now, and I'll show you guys um, what our draft the draft board's looking like. So give me a second here. <clears throat> All right, so we're here at the draft, guys. Um, Vegas is on the clock. Just looking at the message center a little bit, it says now in the trading block. Taves sources say sources say that Shea Weber is being shopped around. So basically, just saying. Um, what the who which players are on the trade list so I'm just gonna take a look here quickly at the players that are on the block for each team if anything catches my eye then I will do potentially a trade if not no worries Dante Fabro is actually on the block I want to see 75 according to to our scout but it only has two lines potential top four medium top four he wouldn't be a terrible defenseman to get um, but I don't know who I would trade for Barwicki no Martin Robert Thomas Ingram so every, everything is basically the same still uh, Dante Fabro actually would be a guy that I'd be looking to get but I don't think I will. Let's see here. Um, let's just look at the at the class list. So this guy's supposed to be a gem. Peyton Krebs. Didn't really haven't seen any of this yet. Another gem here, Glebov, Sergey Glebov. This guy's probably around our um yeah, he's he's there for our um he's there around our pick, so Sontag was actually picked first overall. It wasn't even Jack Hughes, but he's a medium franchise, so we knew that. So it's kind of we kind of knew that he was gonna be uh, the first overall pick. Let's see if um, I can look at anything else. View draft, draft activity, draft summary, draft board. Okay, nothing's happened so far in the draft, so we'll just do some sim pick and see what's going on jack hughes okay where are we picking i want to see exactly where we're picking because okay we're picking 19th overall so not terrible am i looking to get that uh russian russian player there uh let's see this is simulate pick by pick for the first 19 so vernarski was actually elite medium elite so pretty good we have there's a lot of medium elite players here juntonen 
I don't remember even scouting him. Vitalama, I don't even think I scouted him either. Uh, Kaigorov, another, I think he's he seems to be a game generator player, but he's a medium elite as well. Obviously, the first round of this of this draft is going to be really good because we have the actual players that are going as well as some creative players. Krebs actually went um, to Winnipeg, 7th overall. So I think he was supposed to be a gem. Medium elite for Bayern. So I feel like Bayern would have been a perfect player to get because uh, we actually need defensemen. But he went 8th overall to Detroit. Okay, Capo Caco actually went to Dallas. Uh... 10th overall, 9th overall, sorry, uh, medium elite, so a lot of medium elites here, guys, Kemp, top 6, 10th overall, let's see, Kirby Dock, so it, I feel like um, Calgary could have picked Dock and gotten a medium elite, he was the gem, I believe, uh, Cousins, only a top 6, so not incredible, but pretty good player still, Erickson, top 4, medium top 4, uh, Vujovic, Medium top four. We're four. Or I think I think we're five. Um, five picks away from us. Huselius to Philadelphia. Laxanen to uh, Arizona. Locke top six to Chicago. So we're pretty close to our Russian player. Okay. So top six Typho. Let's make a pick here, guys. I think I have my eyes on the Russian defenseman here. Even though Suzuki's on here as well. Can we reunite the Suzuki brothers? Playmaker, center, uh, 6'1", 179, scouted to be 21st. He had some pretty good stats in the OHL with the Barry Colts, Robertson, Poulin. This Glebov guy, though, I think I really want to get him here. Let me see. If I'm able to trade, um, let me see if there's anything interesting in the second round. I don't think so. I don't think I've scouted too many players in the second round. So I might have to take Suzuki here in the first round. And then I think I have two first round picks. Let me see how much. Let me just take a timeout. We have to think this through, guys. But I think I have two first rounders. I mean, two second rounders. So if I can trade my two second rounders to move up. Yeah, so the 50th and the 61st. 61st, sorry. Um, for a maybe the 20th or something. I could get two second rounders and a third to move into the 23rd or something like that. Um, I'm going to just explore my options, but let me just make the pick here for this guy. Actually, you know what? Since I have six minutes, I'm going to get Suzuki for sure. But I want to see if anybody's trying, any of these guys are trying to give away their pick. So the Devils are not really trying to give away their pick. Hopefully LA is. LA is. So I'm going to target either LA's. Vegas might also be wanting to give away their pick. No. Okay. Maybe not. They just got their franchise player, so maybe I thought they might have been willing to give away their pick. Calgary. Okay, so either Calgary or LA. Let me take uh, Nick's, or Ryan Suzuki here. Uh, we're going to reunite him with his brother, Elite. I have three bars, though, so I don't know. I don't know if that would... Uh, should I take him or what? What do you guys think? A, B... Playmaker. I should have scouted this guy more crap. Or do I take this guy right here? Oh my god. I think I'm just going to take Suzuki. Screw it. And then I'm going to make a trade. Medium top six. So I screwed up. I had I had a feeling he might have been um, a medium top six, like I said here. But... um. I messed up here. Okay, so let me try and trade for LA's 23rd overall. So Suzuki was not what we wanted to see here. Not the overall that we wanted. Okay, so if I give him the two seconds and a third, would that go through? 
Or maybe just the two seconds. Let's see if the two seconds would work. Trade rejected. So they're not interested in what we're giving them. So if we give them a fourth that they're interested in, two seconds and a fourth for the first, 21st overall, trade rejected. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Uh, there's their third overall. Let's see. Would that go through? Trade accepted. So two seconds and a third to move up to the first and pick up this Russian guy. We're on the clock again, guys. Let's see. He is supposed to be a gem. I want to try and see if these gem things actually work. He's another center, 5'8", shoots left, playmaker. He had some decent stats, it looks like, in Russia. So let's just pick him and see if he's actually a medium elite. So he is, so that's good. So we actually got a medium elite and a top six forward. So not bad. We traded her both of her seconds and a third, but that's what we needed to do in order to... Um, in order to get this uh, Glebov guy, I should have just gotten this Glebov guy and kept my second two second rounders, but that's okay, guys. I thought maybe Ryan Suzuki was a was a player there that we could have picked. So let's just sim to the user pick now. Uh, we're on the, th the third round again. Let's make the pick here and see if we have anybody here. This Oh, we have two elite players. Okay. So this guy says that it's a bust. He's a bust. And then we have a couple couple guys with actual elite potential. Xavier Hamilton. Uh, he's ranked 84th. And then Ker Teravainen. Kerry Teravainen. I don't know which one to take. I think I'm going to... This one's for sure medium elite. So I'm going to take him and then... I might come back and see if I can get this Terra guy. Maybe trade for a third round pick. So just give me a second. Let's select this guy, Hamilton, right winger. All right, so sniper, right winger. We actually also need, I think, right winger. So um, it's good that we are. We selected this guy. Let's simulate now. A couple picks. I want to see if. I think he used Terra and so. I just want to simulate a couple more picks and see if I can if I can get him in our, in the next round. When is our next pick? Let's see. Do we have one in the fourth? Yeah, not till the sixteenth though. So he might be gone. Um, v draft class. Let me see here, guys. Yeah, Teravine is expected to go anytime now. So. <sighs> Let me see if I can trade anybody from our um, from our NHL team. Who did we have? Tatar. So if I wanted to trade Tatar for a younger player and a third round pick, uh, who else still has to go? Just give me a second here, guys. So Vegas, St. Louis, maybe St. Louis or Vegas. Let me see if Vegas would want to get the tar back do they want to give away yeah they want to give away their third rounder so if i got if i gave them to tar back they don't really want it to oh they do want to tar okay perfect okay so if i gave them to tar obviously the third round is a little bit too much um who can i get that's a decent player here uh Hold up, hold up, hold up, guys. Let's just uh, analyze this properly. Eric Howla. Would Eric Howla be a player that we are interested in? Maybe Eric Howla, but Eric Howla might be a bit too much. Sokolov. Nosek. I'm just looking at some younger players. I'm trying to get some... Some younger players here. Sokolov, center. Dennis Sokolov. Dmitry Sokolov, I think, right? So medium, to low top nine. So he's not worth anything. Um, Howla. Let me see Howla. If I take fifth, if I retain 50% of Tatar's salary. We have the cap space, guys. So I'm not worried about that at all. Uh, Montreal have three players with retained salary. Oh, so I can't retain salary. Crap. 
Okay. So maybe if I if I give them if I ask for a first and a third round next year, I wonder if that would go through, cause um, it's not gonna work otherwise I think guys. So a, maybe a second next year, not from Pittsburgh though, from them, from them, and then maybe a fourth or something, a fifth. And then I'm going to put a crappy player here that they want to get rid of. Anybody, anybody. So the Sontag guy is going to be incredible. Okay, David Clarkson, we could maybe. Or Cody Eakin. Maybe Cody Eakin would be a better player to get. Yeah, okay. So Cody Eakin, uh, a second round and a third for Tatar. Should I try and get a little more? No, okay, that's fine. Let that go through. Trade rejected. The deal is now invalid. Some assets are no longer with the team anymore. Okay, so they went through. I messed up. I should have taken a timeout. Eggenberg, okay. So let me just take a timeout. No, can I not take a timeout? Okay, okay. I have to do this really quickly, guys. But they wanted Tatar, so that would have been perfect. Uh, do they want Tatar? Any of these guys? Okay, they do want Tatar as well, so... Let's try and get a second rounder as well. Or should we try and get... Let me try and get Kairu that they've been trying to trade for a while, so... Oh, they haven't signed him, have they? Okay, let's, okay yeah, they would be under the maximum salary cap, so... Do they have any players that they want to give away that make a lot of money here? Dimitri Jaskin, possibly. Okay, so Jaskin, Kairu, Tatar. If I give them a fourth. Crap, crap, crap. Come on here. Maybe our fourth. One of our fourths from this year. Oh my god, are you kidding me? This two minute thing goes by so quickly, guys. I can't even call a timeout, can I? Yeah, I can't. Okay, so if they want to give away their pick, yeah, they do. I'm going to need to do this really quickly, guys. Uh, skaters matching the block. Okay, Tatar's not on here, I believe. No, he's not. Okay. So I'm just going to let them take their pick then. And then if, if we miss on the guy, we miss on the guy, you know? Blanchard, okay. Now this guy here. Um, okay, they don't want to give away their pick, so it's going to be a lot harder. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they took Teravine, and so he's actually a medium elite, so I should have gone for him. I messed up. Let's just go and uh, sim to user pick. We'll just pick our picks, and then we will um, we will try and trade for Tatar later on. I don't see anyone too good here. Let me see if I can search by potential. Uh, elite. Edward Kobusu, low elite. Uh, he for sure has it, though, so I'm going to draft him. Or should I draft? Yeah, I'm going to draft this this Kobusu guy and then this Bore guy maybe later on. Let's make the pick here. Edward Kobusu, low elite, what we want it. And then with our next pick... I might, we have so many centers, guys, but with our next pick, I might, um, I might just, uh, pick that goalie, the Russian goalie that was there. Okay, so fourth pick for, our fourth for their fifth and sixth next year, so I'm going to decline that because I'm going to try and get the goalie, um, uh, make pick. I like that thing that it gives you when it's gems and stuff like that, I think that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. In my opinion, at least. Uh, okay, so I'm going to try and get this goalie. Actually, this goalie has one bar, though. Matthias Olin. <sighs> or should I just get this Boris Volchenkov guy? Top 4D, low. You know what? I'm just going to go with this Corey Payer guy. Or Volchenkov. Uh, medium top 6, Harsley. Two lines, though. I'm going to go with this pair. P 
Pair, Petrovic, Thomas Harley. I'm going to go with Thomas Harley. And then, what is Thomas Harley? Low top six. Wow, I completely messed up there. I should have gone with the one guy that I knew already. Hopefully, he's still there. We have the second pick in the in the fifth round, so he should be there. Let's see. Volchenkov. Okay, low top four. Corey Payer. I'm going to go with him. We need some D-man, so anything that can help. Low top four. Okay, good. Uh, we, so we've picked up two defensemen, two NHL defensemen that can grow into something. Uh, we have another pick in the fifth round, so that's good. Who can we choose here? I don't see anybody here too, and too good, so I'm going to go with... Um, this Boris Volchenkov, yeah. Low top six forward, that's pretty good if you ask me. Low top six with the fifth round. That's exactly what you want, guys. So, same to user pick again. Sixth round now, let me see. If, I, might, I might take a chance on the goalie. I think, uh, possibly, let's see. We have still a few more elite players. Uh, two bars, French starter, medium top six, medium bottom six. Sorry. Okay, I'm just going to take a chance on the goalie now. We have nothing to lose. It's a sixth round pick. Hopefully it can be elite French starter. So me medium French starter is not terrible, though, for a sixth round pick. I was hoping he would have maybe been a starter or a elite. That would have been clutch if he was an elite. But now I'm just going to go with um, this Chris Stewart guy, Cole Stewart, sorry. Four, bottom six, medium, bottom six. I think that might be a decent player for the sixth round. We'll pick him. And then let's simulate to the next pick now. Winnipeg Jets seventh for this year's seventh. No, we're going to decline. We're just going to keep our seventh. Seventh, ra seventh round picks are not worth a lot. So uh, we will just take a chance on these elite guys now. Uh, this is a sniper, elite two lines, low elite. Let me see his stats. No goals, Boro, no points either. So and Westland, uh, nothing too crazy. He only had one bar. So I'm gonna go with this guy, Oland, Matthias Oland. Low top six, not bad for a seventh round pick. That's some pretty good drafting, if you ask me. Same to user pick. I think we might be done. Yeah, the NHL draft is now done. So we have a lot of picks now, guys. Suzuki, Glebov, Medium Elite, Hamilton, Kobasu, Harley, Payer, Volchenkov, Burry, Stewart, and Oland. So let's advance now and um, take a look at our players. I think, I don't know if we will be able to look at our players' um, stats because of the fog of war, but, uh, I think the, re the, the way you can look at their stats and look how good they are for your draft picks is, uh, sorry, I just want to save because my e-axis might crash anytime soon, so I don't want to lose any of these picks, but, um, yeah, like I'm saying, um, if you want to check their stats, you have to play them in the preseason, so, uh, hold up the flying scouts have, okay. Expiring contracts on their team. Okay, so I'll, I'll just fix that after. Today's the beginning of the RFA stage. Okay, so let me just take a look at our contract situation, guys. And um, I'll bring you guys back once that's done. I don't know if I'll have enough time. But let's just take a look here, guys. I'm going to try and sign all these guys, and I'll let you guys know once that's done. Actually, really quickly, sorry again, I brought you guys back again, but uh, we have two medium elites, one low elite, and then who else did we get? I think that's it. We have low top six, um, low top 60, top six, medium top six, medium bottom six, low top four. So it's a pretty good draft if you ask me. Um, I'm going to see if I should sign some of these guys. Um, if not, then I won't. But just give me a couple seconds, guys. Alright, guys. So I just realized I only have 50 spots for contracts. So 
I offered a contract to Charles Ludon, who's an RFA, and then Arturi Lekkonen for three years. Uh, Brooke accepted as well. Tiska rejected because, uh, yeah, we're full. Our roster's full, so I'm going to see what I can do here, guys. Um, yeah, we don't have that much, that many spots. We only have one more spot, and I think that's taken for a goalie. That's reserved to a goalie, so... I think we also have a couple UFAs as well, like they pray. Let me see. Let me release this guy. Oh, that opens a spot. Okay, so I'm gonna release all the guys that I don't need. Actually, I didn't think that if I didn't, um, if they're still on the team and I didn't release them, they counted as roster spots. So I'm just gonna release the guys that I don't need. I'll bring you guys back once that's done. Alright guys, so I made some room for some of the players that I wanted to sign. Paul Byron actually unfortunately rejected our offer. He wants to test the free agent market, so that's fine. Uh, Nikita Sherbeck rejected as well because it wasn't enough dollars. So Depre accepted, or me accepted. So I'm going to go back and sign, uh, sign what's his name, Sherbeck. Um, let me see here. 40, we saw five contract, five... Um, I'm going to trade this P.E.K.K.A. guy. He's pretty useless in my opinion. He, he takes a roster spot as well. But um, I didn't know. What's his name? Nikita Sherbeck wanted some more. Hold up here. There you go. More cash. I think I offered him what he wanted. But maybe it wasn't enough. Let's see here. Okay. 2.25 for one year. Not terrible. Uh, how much money do we have? We have 14 million in cap space, so. Who else do we have to sign? Learn out, no. Valley of no. Odette, no. Morgan Riley. Tarmina. Kel Fleury, I'm going to sign. Just to sign. Because, uh, yeah, he has a low top six. I'm going to get rid of all these guys because uh, they're basically AHL players. And if I need them, then I will sign them later on. But, you know, all these Byron Phrase guys and all these players. Let's see. Tarmina. All these guys here. An offer salary or contract to Tiska. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else needs one? McCarron, learn out. McCarron. I'm gonna offer one year to McCarron. One way. Okay. He better grow then. That's all I have to say. If not, he will be traded. And then who else? Who don't we need? Okay, we don't need Ikonin. Even though he was a second rounder, he doesn't have that grade of. Um, my grid of stats, in my opinion. Byron will be gone. We might offer something for Willette. Looks like he will go up. So if I offer him one year, okay, th so three years. If we bump it down to 2.25, or two years. I'll give him two years for 2.25. Let's do that. He might be a player that we trade anyways, so. And then Morgan Riley. Oh, wow, he wants some money too, eh? Okay, so I'm just going to offer him 1.5, 1 1.5, 1 1.550 oh, for one year, one way. Okay, I think that might be good. Let's just advance a day here. Riley rejected. Sherbeck accepted. Good news. Rejected. For Willette, accepted for McCarran. Fleury, Tiska, okay. So we still have a couple more players to re-sign. I don't know if they don't want extension or extensions or I don't know what the deal is here. Why they keep saying no. Uh, Willette. Okay, Willette's a UFA. So does he want an extension? He doesn't. So Riley does. So I will just give him exactly how much he wants and then he will most likely be traded, guys. So... Don't worry, 1.7. I'll even give him a little bit more. And then Valiev. Valiev, I might re sign if he wants a two way. Yeah, he does. Okay. 
Oh, dead. I'm gonna relay release. We ha yeah, we still have some more, some more spots here. Um, actually, maybe I shouldn't have resigned Valiev, but okay. One last chance on on uh, Willet here. If I give him, if I give him two point four for, okay, I'm gonna give him two years. Two point five for two years. Hopefully he accepts this. If not, then that's fine. No worries. And then for some of these guys, um, I'm going to see if I should sign any of our entry first level prospects. Maybe this Glebov guy. He is the Russian guy. So give him an entry level deal because I want to know what he what he's like. Suzuki, I'm going to let him play in the, in the OHL a little bit more. Hamilton... No, Hamilton, he can, we can sign him next year. We'll just be content with signing one prospect a year. Riley accepted, will that reject it? So he wants to, he wants to test the free agency market and Glebov accepted, okay. So I'm gonna save now the game. Um, just cause I wanna make sure that I have, I don't lose anything guys. Uh, we're pretty much close to an hour, and I think I had less than an hour, so uh, View contracts just one second here one last thing I Didn't check goalies so goalies might be sneaking up on us. Okay. No, that's fine. And then this guy Bure D-man it's looking pretty good. Yeah, okay. All right, so no we're good. Niemi is gonna be in UFA. No worries uh, Let's see Let's just send to free agency and then we'll see uh, who's out there. So we'll let and then or all dead and then I think is learn out. Um, are gonna be hitting free agency unfortunately, but they just didn't have enough get enough potential. So, so Tyler Sagan guys, holy crap! Tyler Sagan is um on the free agency here. Elite, 27. So he might be a player that we actually splash the cash on. We have 12 million, million in cap space, sorry. Um, quite a bit of money, if you ask me. Mark Stone, Duchesne, Silverberg, Nate Schmidt, Marcus Johansson, Myers, Chara, Strawman, Gord, DeBrusque, Bloomister. So some pretty good, some pretty good players here, if you ask me. I don't know if I sh we should... Um, if we should uh, sign some free agents right now. I know we're kind of part of a rebuild right now, so I don't want to um, splash the cash and then be stuck, especially because we're going to trade Weber sooner than later. So um, I don't know if I should sign Sagan. You guys let me know, and um, we will see. Once that's done, uh, we'll see what you guys want to do. Maybe looking to sign Tyler Sagan, though. He might be our first line center let's see here who else do we have them that could take the first line center roles uh, we have suzuki i don't know if he'll be a first liner kakanyemi for sure 75 he's on trend to become a first liner Dryan is also a first liner right now i would like to move Dryan to the wing and then kakanyemi first liner and then suzuki possibly uh first line right wing paling uh, maybe second round, uh, second line, Gallagher, and then Domi or something like that. We have Suzuki here. Where are all these other guys? Uh, low top six. Where are there other elite players? Let me see here. Okay, so Hamilton's a medium elite, so that's pretty good. I don't know why he didn't appear on the... I don't know why he didn't appear on there. Let's see here. Okay, no, yeah, there he there he is. Glebov, um, medium elite center. So he might be another centerman that we may have. He has a lot of trade value, more than Weber. So we'll just um, we'll just take it over in the free agency, guys. Um, my game's gonna run out any second now. So. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the draft. And sorry if it was a short episode. I would have liked to just done the the whole um, 
off season in one video, but we'll just have to do the free agents next one. So thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.